Okay, so the problem for today is some basic electronics. And what I need is a trimmable resistor that is 100 ohms plus or minus 5%. So how am I going to do this? Well, the way I'm going to do it is um, take a resistor. Now, I could just use one trimmable resistor, but it might be very difficult to, to set it and calibrate it accurately. So how would I make it um, better for, for calibrating the resistor? Well, the answer is to use two resistors. Now, I could um, put them in series, so I've got the first resistor would be 95 ohms and the second resistor would be 10 ohms and have a series adjustable resistor network but the problem is it's difficult to get very low ohmic value trimmable resistors so the other way of doing it is to connect the resistors in a parallel network like that. So what do I need R1 and R2 to be so that I can tune get a resistance that varies by 5%? Well let's use LT Spice to try and work it out. So I've got R1 and R2 connected in parallel and then I'm going to have a voltage source that goes there and the ground connection that goes there like that so what does the two resistors need to be okay so I'm going to use this this tool I've got to try and work it out. So, uh, define resistors to use number four. We only want to use the E24 series, and then I want a parallel resistor using two components, seven. Right. So, what is the target value? Well, I'm going to put in the the the, the positive maximum range so I want to put in 105 ohms 105 okay so I need to get to get 105 ohms I need a 110 ohm resistor and a 2k4 resistor So I'll put 110 ohms in there, and then 2400 there. Now the parallel resistor network will be 105 ohms. Okay, so how do I test this then? So what I need to do is put in here in and now I need to make a a check to, to check my resistance so if I use a behavioral voltage source and put in the equation V equals V in voltage divided by uh, current equals resistance so V in divided by I R1 plus I R2 so voltage divided by the sum of the currents 
is resistance. So if I make a net resistance I just call it resistance res. So I've got res there and ground there. Ground, right? So now um, if I have a look at res, it should come up as 105 ohms. So I run the simulator. I just need a DC operating point. Set it up. Edit simulation command DC operating point. There you go. Right. V in. Oh, I haven't set my voltage. Okay. So this this can happen. Right. Voltage. Oh yeah. Well, one volt. Right. Okay, let's run it again. There you go. V in is one volt. V res, which is the resistance, is 105.179 ohms. Okay, now if I want to get the low end, which is 95 ohms, I need to put in a different value for R2. Uh, so what does it need? What does it need to be the low end of R2? Well, I'm going to use the uh, parameter stepping command to calculate that. I'm going to type in dot step param R2, and from one ohm to 2,400 ohm in 10 ohm steps. Uh, no, I don't, don't want to... Uh, yeah, that's okay. Do it like that. And then put R2 in curly braces. R2. Okay, so now if I do a DC operating point I'm going to get a graph where the x-axis is the resistance of R2 and the y-axis is going to be whatever I probe. I'm going to probe resistance, total so resistance. So let's have a look then and see what happens. I'll run that. Oop, model R2 not found. Ah, that's because that's a comment and not active. Or is it in as a directive? Right. Here we go. Right, so this is the resistance of R2, which is sweeping along the bottom. And now let's have a look at the, the resistance of the parallel resistor network. Yeah, there we go. Okay, V-res. So if I want to have it so that it's 95 ohms, let's put that on there. Ninety-five. I'll say there. Ninety-four point eight nine seven. Then the resistance needs to be six hundred and ninety-one ohms. So, 691 and 2400 ohms. So, equals, and uh, 691 is the our us total is 95 ohms and 2400 RT equals 105 ohms ok that's like that
Okay, so just to summarise then, to make a trimmable resistor that is 100 ohms plus or minus 5%, you need to have a 110 ohm resistor and then a trimmer in parallel with it where the resistance range can vary from approximately 691 ohms to 2400 ohms. Obviously you look on this graph here to get the absolute spot on values. And the reason for using this method is because it's more practical and better to use a trimmable resistance that is not very low ohmic value. Okay, thank you very much for your attention. And if you found this video any use, um, you can make a donation to me via PayPal. Send me some money. Send some money to lion.farmbeach at gmail.com There you go. Use, use, use some PayPal, right? Okay, thank you. Goodbye.